guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and I make videos on minimalism, productivity, my no buy, low buy lifestyle and intentional living. So in this video today, I'm going to list 50 things that I only own one of. Now this tag was created by a lady called Sarah Therese. I believe she's a family vlogger and she does do minimalism videos, which I find really interesting. The first thing I own one of is this shampoo. Now I bought this in May 2019. I looked it up on Amazon when I bought it. And so this is a thousand milliliters and both Andrew and I use this and we share it he actually gets bored of shampoo really quickly so sometimes he'll just buy another one but I've been using this solidly and it's been it's going strong so it's been going for nearly a year now and I think I might swap over but I do really like having such a big bottle and I feel like it saved me a lot of money and it's great I really enjoy it the second thing I only own one of is this shower cap I bought this from Amazon and it costs like I think seven pounds or so I don't like wet my hair all the time when I shower because it takes ages to style it about an hour or so I have really curly hair so to blow dry it and then to straighten it takes a good hour I don't really like wearing my hair curly I find it very very difficult to manage I did try earlier this year to try and wear it curly and not to use so much heat on my hair but I did very much struggle so I'm back to the straight hair for now the next thing that I own only one of is this pair of tweezers. This has been going strong for many a year. I actually can't even remember how long it's been, but it's my trusty tweezer and I use it every now and then. The next few items that I'm going to get into is my skincare items. I have a very simple skincare routine. In my 20s, I used to use different things. I used to actually review beauty products. I used to get PR and I used to try everything and it made me break out and then I realized how silly I was being. But I wanted clear skin more than I wanted to try these random products products so I now keep it super super simple so for my face care I use this Nivea face cream it's a q10 face cream and it's really really good I just use it once a day to be honest not even once a day occasionally when my skin feels a little bit dry I'm not religious about it at all I kind of find moisturizing a bit of a hassle and a bit of a pain in the arse so I don't really do it that often but when I do it's this Nivea q10 um, day cream and for my lips I use trust your old Vaseline, you can't be a bit of Vaseline. For my body care, I use Nivea um, Irresistibly Smooth. So this was kind of a new formula that they were promoting and it was great. This is the night one. I use the night one and the day one whenever. So I bought like a day one and the night one. I used up the day one and now I'm just using the night one for whenever I finish my shower and I just put this on. And this is kind of it for my body care as well. I do have to say, I really like the Nivea formulas. I think they're tried and tested, really affordable and good value for money and I've grown up using them really. In my 20s as I said I was experimenting with a lot of things so I did stray away from it but I've refound my love for Nivea and it's Nivea all the way for me. The next thing I only own one of is my electric toothbrush. My sister actually gifted this to me. I can't remember if it was for a birthday. I think it might have been for a birthday. And these electric toothbrushes are fairly expensive. I think they're about 50 quid or so, like 30, 40, 50 quid. And initially I was just a bit like, no, I don't want to spend that kind of money on an electric toothbrush. And she's really into her teeth. She's all about that life. So she was just like, no, you should try like an electric toothbrush. It's really good for you. It's much better than manual. And I didn't believe her. But once I got this, I totally kind of am on that train now. I think that's completely true. This gets rid of plaque really, really easily. But I cannot recommend an electric toothbrush highly enough. The next set of things I'm going to get into is my makeup. I've actually done a video on my entire makeup collection, which I'll link in the cards above and in the description below. That video did really well on my channel, so maybe you guys will be interested. I do have multiples of some things, for example, mascara, so I'm obviously not going to show that here. But the things that I only own one of, I will show now. So the first one that I only own one of is this face primer. It was fairly expensive. It's a Laura Mercier face primer but it is so, so worth it. I bought this just before I got married. I love it and I think it's worth every penny. It's a high-end item of makeup that I will certainly replace. The next thing I have is my Chanel Vita Aqua Lumiere. This isn't actually my correct shade anymore, so I, I just want to use this up before I return to a foundation that I prefer, which is the Estee Lauder foundation, I think. I, th I think it is anyway, I'm gonna have to check. But yes, this is, I'm in the middle of trying to finish this up. It's a really good foundation, it's fairly light coverage. I prefer slightly heavier coverage these days, so that's why it's not kind of my ideal anymore. But when I did like it, it was great. The next thing that I have is this MAC lip liner. 
It is um, a Whirl lip liner, um, this, that's the colour. I don't think you'll be able to tell the colour. It's basically a brown. If anybody's been watching over the last year, they'll know that I struggled to try and find a dupe for this. I didn't want to spend all the money on a MAC lip liner, but I failed miserably and I had to return to it. And my mum actually bought me this for my birthday. So this is brilliant and um, yeah, I'll continue to use it for as long as I live. The next thing that I have is this eyebrow pencil, just a standard black eyebrow pencil. In fact, it's probably more like an eyeliner pencil, but I just use it for my eyebrows. So the next thing I have is this liquid eyeliner from Body Shop. It's a really, really nice eyeliner and it's the only one that doesn't irritate my eyes. It is running out and I don't know if the Body Shop are doing on Online deliveries. I don't know if I really am going to bother online shopping. I mean, I'm loving lockdown because it means that I can save so much money. I don't have to go out at all. I'm saving money on transport and it really fits into my no buy, low buy lifestyle philosophy. If you don't know what a low buy, no buy lifestyle is, it's basically a challenge where you decide not to spend money on anything that you don't consider a necessity. I'll link my playlist on that up in the cards above and also in the description below where I go into much more detail. But I think if you've been following my channel for any any length of time, you'll know that this is a big thing for me. I try not to spend money. I try to save as much as possible. So this lockdown has been really great for that. Um, and I'll make a video on that later. But yeah, because I don't want to spend any money online shopping, I might just try and do without an eyeliner for a bit. But we shall see. I'm going to try and lengthen this out as long as possible. The next thing is a little sharpener that I use for my lip liner and my eyebrow pencil. The last item of makeup I'm going to show you is a highlighter. It's a Revlon highlighter. It's actually really, really good. I don't use highlighter that often, but I did buy it just prior to my wedding. And it does make a really nice difference. It's just one of those steps in a makeup routine that I cannot be bothered with. The next thing that I have only one of is a nail polish remover. I don't frequently wear nail polish because I absolutely hate it when they get chipped on the nails and they get chipped so, so easily unless you get them professionally done. And number one, I'm too tight to get them professionally done. And number two, when I do do them myself, they get chipped and I hate it. So that's why I don't often wear nail polish, but I do have nail polish remover. So if they ever get chipped, I can get rid of them straight away. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is this micellar cleansing water from Garnier. It's really interesting. I used to be slightly allergic to this and I used to use something else. But then when I was going through my low by no buy, I was a bit like, oh, let me just try and use this up. And yeah, it's great. It's really, really nice. And I've really taken to it. So it's kind of strange how at one point it used to irritate my skin and now I just love it. The next thing I'm gonna show you is this pack of cotton pads. Normally I get them from Sainsbury's, you can obviously get them from anywhere, but I get them from Sainsbury's because they're a lot cheaper. But one day I was just caught short, so I got these from Boots. The next thing I'm gonna show you is my Method bathroom cleaner. Now I use this for multiple surfaces, not just the bathroom. I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference. And the reason why I use Method is because they sent a few samples to my office and nobody wanted them and I took him. And honestly, they work so, so well. And they smell really great. This one is eucalyptus mint. It was three pounds from Amazon. And our bathroom is fairly small. It's just me and Andrew. I can make these kind of cleaners last for a fairly long time. And I'd really recommend it, actually. I think it's well worth the money. The next thing I'm gonna show you is my stationery holder. And I'm also going to show you all the stuff in my stationery holder, because all these items, I only own one of. So the first thing is, a pair of scissors. The next thing is a stapler. The next item is sellotape. I don't really use sellotape often, just around Christmas time and the occasional birthday. So this roll has been going for ages. The next item is a lighter. This is just to light candles around the place. The next thing is a bottle opener. The next thing I'm gonna show you is my magazine file holder. I have all my certificates in this folder and all my important documentation and paperwork in this folder. Um, I could put them in one folder, but I like having them in two, just this one for the certificates. And yeah, this just stays on my table. I did do a very in-depth room tour. So you see a lot of the objects that I'm showing today in that room tour. The next thing that I own one of is this pair of headphones. Andrew got it for me for my birthday. Actually, most of my items like these days, because I don't really like buying stuff, is on birthdays and on Christmases, and I just tell my family and friends what I want. And so I just wanted a pair of decent headphones. These are Sony. 
they look pretty nice i mean obviously they're not noise cancelling or beats headphones or anything like fancy like that but i don't really need that um these cost about i don't know like 15 pounds or so and they're really good they've been going strong for a while the next thing that i only own one of is my computer which is a macbook air which i got from work the reason why i'm not showing it to you right now is because it's impractical for me to show you i was just finishing up work today and it's in the middle of doing some stuff on my desk but suffice to say that's the computer that i have it was given to me by work and i absolutely love it it's a great machine it's really powerful and if i were to ever recommend a computer to anybody it would definitely Definitely be the MacBook Air. It's super light and it's super powerful. The next thing that I only own one of is this laptop case. Again, this was given to me by work. If you don't know, I'm a video editor by trade and this is why I'm getting a free kit from work, which is absolutely brilliant. The next thing that I own one of is a really, really old iPad. This might even be like an iPad 3 or something. My friend actually sold it to me for, actually, I think she gave it to me because she's such a good friend of mine. She's actually one of my best friends and she's super generous and she bought this for herself, realized that she didn't really want to use it. I just took, I insisted on taking her for a really nice meal because she just wouldn't take the money for it at all. And I've had this for the last six years. I only ever read books on it. I don't use it that often. I don't find it very useful, so I can kind of understand why she gave it to me. Andrew has an iPad as well, and he really uses his iPad. He uses it for work, but I don't use this for anything other than reading. The next thing that I own one of is my work bag. It's a Nomo backpack, so it's a designer backpack, and I've done a full video on my work bag and what I have in my work bag, which I'll link again in the cards above and in the description below. I go into a lot of detail about the bag and the contents of the bag. I love this bag and it's such a shame it's not being used too often now because of the lockdown. It's actually not being used at all but it is a beautiful bag and I got this for Christmas last year. The next thing that I only own one of is my journal. I always have a journal on the go or a notebook on the go. I write everything in there, all my feelings, all my work notes, all my personal notes. And once I'm done with it, um, I'll leave it for like a month or so and then I'll chuck them away. I just don't want useless paper hanging around me. If there's anything important that I really need to transfer, I'll photograph it, but that doesn't happen very often because my notes are kind of ongoing. So anything that's important will be shifted over to the next set of notes that I make in my next notepad. But yeah, I always have a notepad slash journal on the go. The next couple of things I'm going to show you are things that I'm not really using anymore because of the lockdown. It's my Tupperware and my water bottle. This my sister got me and it's a really good bit of Tupperware. You can put like your stuff in there and then you pop the lid like this and then you can put your stuff in the microwave and it's kind of heats it up and stuff and all the steam is let out. It's a really good quality bit of um, Tupperware. And then I have this Love Island water bottle that Andrew got me and yeah, I'm just not using it anymore just because of the lockdown, but I used to take it to work and to the gym religiously every day. The next thing is my big mug. So I got this from Madame Two Swords and I love it. I love the fact that it has these um, film clapboards on there and I drink a lot of water. It's just because I'm really, really thirsty all the time. I don't know why, my dad's kind of the same. So I will get through about four or five of these every day. So I always have this on the go and I have it in my bedroom. This is how big it is, by the way, if you want some reference. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is my hairbrush. Andrew and I share this hairbrush. There's a story behind this hairbrush, which is really funny because it's actually not a hairbrush. You open it up over here and then you put alcohol in there and you sneak it into the clubs. Now, obviously that's not really our lifestyle. So we just, we've only done it a couple of times like for festivals and stuff and it really doesn't hold that much alcohol, but we thought it was quite funny. And you can get one, a bracelet version and you can get an umbrella version that hold a little bit more. The umbrella version holds the, holds the most. This probably holds like one drink's worth of alcohol, but we just thought it was really funny. And we just now use it as a hairbrush, really. Okay, the next thing that I have is my trusty phone case slash wallet. It acts as a wallet because I have like all my cards and stuff in here. And the next things I will show you one of is four cards. So just give me one second as I pull them out. 
So the first is my credit card, the second is my debit card, the third is my Boots points card. If you've been watching the video, you will have seen that I've referenced Boots quite a few times and that's because that's where I buy most of my stuff and it's because it's the nearest store to my work. So every time I need, you know, food or um, some toiletries, I'll just pop into Boots. So that's why this points card is really good for me. It's probably one of the best points card around as well. For every pound you spend, you get 4p back. So you can accrue quite a lot of money on there quite quickly. And the fourth is my South Bank membership, which I have not used as much as I would have loved to this year. It's a real shame, again, because of the lockdown. It was only £70 and me and my best friend split the cost because we're the only two that uses it. But yeah, it's a real shame. Um, this is the only kind of membership club that I belong to and I absolutely love it. Oh, and for those of you who might not know, South Bank Centre is a cultural centre in London. They put on different exhibitions and showcases. And the reason why I like it is I really like their members area. You get a view of the river. Their alcohol is really nice, but reasonably priced and their food is really tasty too. It's just a really nice atmosphere to meet your friends in. The next thing that I only own one of is this plant right over here. I use it just as a prop for these videos to add in a bit of colour and to make it a bit more visually interesting. The next thing I'm going to show you is this pair of flip flops. I wear them all the time at home. The next thing is my only pair of knee high length boots. These are brown boots from New Look. I like them but I would love another pair of black heeled boots. But again, with the lockdown, I'm not really going out. I don't really find it necessary. But if I do come across a nice pair of black boots, I will snap them right up. So the next thing is these pair of blue jeans. My mother-in-law got me them for my birthday and I absolutely love them. They're from River Island. The fit is really nice. And this is my favorite color of jeans. I really love blue jeans. And these are my only pair of jeans right now. The next thing that I have only one of is a kettle and I have it in my bedroom. I use it to heat up water for my hot water bottle at night. We do own a family kettle in the kitchen but I don't really use that. If I do want coffee I'll use Andrew's coffee machine in the kitchen but I don't drink a lot of coffee so I don't really use that. The next thing is similar. There's a microwave in my bedroom. The reason why there's a microwave is because I need to heat up my water. I'm not kidding when I tell you I cannot stand the cold in any form so even my water has to be warmed up so that's why I own a microwave and it's my own personal microwave. The next thing that I own only one of is an exercise mat. I don't frequently exercise in the room but if I do I don't really like being totally on the ground it can be quite painful so I have a trusty exercise mat that I bought from Sports Direct I believe or JD Sports one of those places and it was only a fiver and I bought that maybe I don't know 10 years ago the next thing is my piggy bank and it's in the shape of an owl I really like it I bought it from New Look it was again cheap as chips I put all my coins in here it's fairly heavy and it's fairly full of random bits of change. The next thing is a sports bra. It was one of the few items that I allowed myself to buy last year and it's been a great investment. Um, it's a Nike sports bra and there's not too much else to say. Apart from that, it's been really, really useful and a really good investment because I've been going to, well, I was going to the gym regularly before the lockdown, but when I go back again, I'll be using it regularly once again. And the last thing that I own only one of is a television. This is the television that's in our bedroom. Andrew actually bought it here. I count it as partly my television as well because I watch it so much. I love TV and I'm not one of those people who have a moral standpoint against people who own multiple TVs. It gets on my nerves a little bit when people think if they live a minimalist lifestyle, it makes them better than other people. I definitely don't agree with that. My channel is all about realistic minimalism for who I consider to be the average person, somebody who doesn't deny that they enjoy consumerism and they get some pleasure from it, but who try to be uh, mindful. So that's kind of my little disclaimer because I didn't want it to come off as if I think having more than one TV is necessarily a bad thing. Anyway guys, that's kind of it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll link more videos in the description below which I think you will find interesting, especially if you're into minimalism content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye.